over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Good job on the two-punch combo by Joe Calzaghe. Eddie, what do you think we're going to see out of Jones? I think you're going to see what you always see. You know, you're going to see a guy that breaks the rule book as far as the way you're supposed to go about technically approaching pugilism. But I think you're going to see speed, you're going to see power, great reflexes, great sense of anticipation, and you're going to see a little cockiness. Great work offensively landing that combination by Calzaghe. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. Very accurate two-punch combo by Roy Jones. Calzaghe's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. Jones's combination punching is working well here. And now he scores well with a straight right. Jones has landed a good, solid combination. Final 10 seconds. Look, you stand straight up. Here we go. Round two is underway. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Roy Jones. That's an impactful right hand by Calzaghe. Calzaghe's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Good looking counter punch. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Roy Jones Jr.'s combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Not able to land the headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Calzaghe's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Well put together combination by Calzaghe. Blocks the headshot. To the head he goes with a left hand. Roy Jones Jr. with a big uppercut. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Jones's combination that was landed moments ago is a, one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now, the trainer in the other corner hopes he has a guy with good timing because timing can negate speed. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. If they have control, they can make the choice. You know, you get in those dark rooms, you start to think that you lose control of the choice, that your opponent's making a choice. Oh, uh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Roy Jones Jr. is on the receiving end of a combination that Two, floors him. Three, four.
Jones goes down and is beating the count from the referee. Teddy, what should we be looking for here? For a way to survive. Now, we've talked about how technically Jones does a lot of things wrong. There better be one thing he does right, and that's tie up. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Joe Calzaghe. Solid left hand to the head. Super two-punch combo by Calzaghe. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with... Oh! And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Stand, One, stand, stand. two, three, four, okay. five, six, seven, eight, Focus. nine, ten. And it's over. Look at this. Jones is not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Joe, the Power of the Wolves, Kansas City.